Hello, my name is Stephen Power from Antipa Minerals. I'm the Executive Chairman. I'd like to introduce you to uh, Antipa Minerals, uh, which is uh, a company with its assets in Western Australia. Uh, essentially, we have a very large ground holding uh, about 300 kilometres east of Port Hedland in the Great Sandy Desert, um, which is an area attracting a lot of interest recently. Um, we have a significant ground holding. You might know this area. Uh, it has the Telfa, I beg your pardon, the Telfa uh, gold mine there, which has been producing for some 40 years. There's 32 million ounces of gold and a million tonnes of copper um, there pre-resort, pre-mining. Um, it's also attracted a lot of attention uh, with Rio Tinto's discovery of Winu, which is uh, going to go in produ into production uh, in 2024, subject to um, uh, approvals from the re regulatory approvals. Um, we have a very strong position uh, in that we have three very strong um, joint venture partners. Um, we entered into some time ago a joint venture with Rio Tinto up there in the north, uh, in that area, about 1,300 square k's. Um, then uh, last year, entered into uh, another farming uh, agreement with IGO and the same with uh, Newcrest here in the south surrounding the Telfa mine. And we've got our own 100% ground there, um, which has um, two, three, um, three quarters of a million ounces of gold at two grams per ton. So I've got a very strong um, basis upon which to build. Um, the, the farming details, it's a $60 million joint venture there on farming with Rio Tinto, which is still ongoing. Um, that required 51% so far. Um, the Newcrest, the Wilkie farming that we made with, uh, uh, with Newcrest just down here in the south, uh, is another $60 million farming and that just commenced last year. Um, the IGO farming, uh, which is in the middle um, is, a $30 million farm in for 70%, but importantly, it's free carry uh, up to uh, completion of the first feasibility study. So in essence, it continues on our, even after they farmed in. Um, and we have our own 100% uh, on ground, uh, as, is, uh, uh, as you can see. If you, look at, if you look at what's happening in this area, um, Essentially, you've got Rio Tinto in the north, and that is that is really what they're looking at is bring Winu into into uh, development. We have some forty five kilometres away. We have the Calibre and Corker um, deposits or the Calibre deposit, which is uh, one point three million ounces as it as it currently stands. Although that will be uh, upgraded soon. Now, to us, that is a, a prime candidate for um, starter feed going into Winu because it has better grade than Winu and it's got better metallurgy. So we see that as a prime um, uh, candidate for really fast production because if you recall, Winu is going into production in 2024. So, and basically, uh, this year uh, they are they are spending some uh, twenty twelve point eight million dollars uh, or thereabouts uh, in the program, and looking at there'll be further drilling at Calibre um, and to add to the resource, and uh, and also exploration opportunities uh, surrounding that in in that area. So. That's where we see basically one area of growth for the company and, and immediate growth, which is a production opportunity. Um, we then come down to our own established resource base down at uh, Minyari uh, Waka, you'll see this is 40 kilometres uh, north of the Telfa mine. The best thing about this is, is that it, is, it starts about 10 metres below the surface it's uh, open pitable. So we've been doing work to really work up um, uh, a resource and really look at 
um, uh, extensions to that resource at deeper levels and sort of chase it down and see if there is uh, the possibility of a Haveron type opportunity there. You'll note that Haveron is very deep, but it also has, um, it, it, it extends uh, to, you know, significant uh, depths um, from the start of the, from the commencement of the mineralization. So the mineralization does uh, continue down deep a long, long way. And we're looking to see whether that we can pick that up uh, in our own, um, in our own ground here uh, at Vinyari Waka and lead into a production opportunity uh, down the track, sort of short to medium term. You'll see, you'll see that is, uh, it has some wonderful uh, grades in there, uh, you know, 42 metres at, uh, at seven, over seven grams, um, you know, 28 at over three. So you're looking at, you're looking at a, a good, high quality, you know, sort of pretty uh, uh, good grade uh, opportunity there. Um, and there's some further intersections there, 69 metres at four, uh, 47 at two. So you get some idea of exactly where, where that's going. We walk into the new crest uh, and basically uh, uh, farming ground, and essentially that's early exploration. We've identified uh, exploration opportunities uh, in that, and we're systematically going through them. Uh, we're the operator of that, um, uh, of that farming, and we're really going and sort of going along and basically early days and work through uh, and undertake methodical exploration on that. Um, and also basically the, uh, and looking for Haveron type opportunities, obviously, because the Haveron ground, which Greatland Gold had great success with, um, and you should go out and have a look at their, their share price and, and share price increase over the last couple of years, um, is really an example of what can be found. Uh, and essentially Newcrest are really looking uh, for this opportunity um, to add to te the, the Telfer uh, feed, which is really coming to an end at, the, uh, at, the, at present. Um, with IGO, uh, we have the uh, same sort of, if you like, the same sort of position as, as the, the Wilkie one. Um, we've just sort of commenced the, um, the farming with IGO and Essentially, um, you know, sort of early days and methodically we're working through uh, things. What one opportunity which we are looking at very closely is this mineralized trend here through uh, Poblano and Serrano. You'll see very wide space drilling. We've had some good hits there. And, um, and that long trend, we think, will, will, will has all the capacity to develop into a, a very interesting uh, uh, opportunity there uh, with IGO. So really, you'll see that we've got a lot of basically um, uh, work coming up this year, um, which we'll be announcing soon. Our work programs will be announced within the next month or two. Um, we'll have our results out, our last diamond holes from last year on the Minyari Wacker ground. Um, so really, I think there's a lot of news flow coming up. Um, which, which uh, should be excellent. Um, we are well funded. We've got over eight million dollars in cash, um, and uh, and so I think that basically um, this is this is we're in a very good position at the moment. Most of our funding is looked after by the, our farming partners, with only ourselves having to fund the hundred percent ground, um, and really sort of leaves us in a great opportunity. Um, Look, I would encourage you to uh, contact myself or, or Roger if you have any queries um, and really look forward to speaking with you um, at, at the conference. Thank you.